And I think it's something that our, our insurance agency is we've got agents that live all over the country. We've got staff here at our headquarters in Greenville, South Carolina. But the second anyone enters our organization, either in that headquarters staff or as an agent that lives in some part of the country, what they instantly feel, what they instantly recognize is the culture that has been created. Look, if I'm going to spend a great portion of this life, yeah. you and I only have so many breaths, mm -hmm. and if I'm going to spend a lot of them working, then I'm going to be in a culture and an atmosphere that I love, Yeah, and I want to cultivate it. If I'm going to ask somebody to give their life a good portion of their life. I mean, mm -hmm. let's be honest. Like, if you take how much people, how much time people spend at work, yeah. versus play, versus home, versus sleep, everything else, a good portion of their life is spent working. Majority. So majority. So if I'm going to ask somebody to do that, then I'm going to create a culture that at the end of their days, they say that was a life well lived. And the way we raise our standard as a company is by raising the standard of the teams within our company, the divisions within our company. And we, the way we do that is by raising the standards and elevating the identity of the people. And there's power in that. There's power in knowing that the leadership of your organization truly care about them as individual people, and not just in the apps, the applications, the life insurance policies that they represent, which is ultimately the revenue that they represent, that we care about them as human beings, that we care about them as people. When, when it comes to thriving or winning in all four areas is accountability. And that's something that we take our agents through within our insurance agents, uh, insurance agency. We take them through a process of accountability in these four areas. So we have three goals set in each of the four areas every 90 days and we do a monthly accountability call with them. So the interesting thing is from a corporate perspective, a company instituting a process like this of keeping people accountable in all four areas, that it's not all about the business. Obviously, we understand that if someone's winning in their relationships, if they're killing it with their body, if they're in a good place mentally, that it's just going to be a side effect, a byproduct of that, that of course they're going to be doing better in business, but that's not why we do it. We want people that are doing business with us winning in all areas of their life. You know, we, you hear that, that uh, saying, families that eat together stay together. Yeah. But we started, you know how we do our whole company and we have a meal together and we all come mm -hmm. up with ideas and stuff like that to, yeah. to further the bottom line and, yep. and, and have everybody engaged? Well, that started with me and Jeff and Nathan. Yeah. What's up, guys? Coming to you live from Punta Cana. Is that where we are? Punta Cana, Mexico, I believe. Uh, it's our last day here and uh, we're headed out this morning. Um, we had an awesome time uh, taking all of our staff from the home office on a trip for Christmas. They got to bring their spouses and just a really, really special time that we get to spend uh, with them. Just showing our appreciation uh, for all the incredible hard work that they do throughout the year. I'm at you know, a feeling of an all-time high of our culture as we just came out of our biggest training event of the year last week. Uh, we call it Top Gun where we bring our top 25 agents from around the country in. The top five get to bring their spouses. We bring in our partners with the insurance carrier that we are partnered with, with the nonprofit that we're partnered with. Uh, we bring in speakers, uh, incredible, incredible speakers. We have seven or eight of our agents speak. And you know, from Thursday night to Sunday late afternoon, um, we grow together. And we don't talk about life insurance. We don't talk about insurance at all. We don't talk about production. We talk about growing and becoming the best versions of ourselves. It's, it's not like you can wave a wand one day and mm -hmm. create culture. No. It is not an easy thing to do. And we have a freaking unicorn here. Yeah. But it's because we took two little unicorn embryos and got those things to <laughs> <laughs> raise yeah. them up and, yeah. and, and, and created it.